How to draw a Ghost Rider skull. It should be fun. First, we can draw like an ovalish shape, as usual. So you can hardly see that, but I promise you it is like an oval shape. Then we'll draw in the eyes, which are like skull like sockets I'm sure the nose just marking everything roughly so you can always clean everything up later Slightly open there. Start to let them teeth in. quickly drawing them teeth like that. I can always come back to them a bit of time. Rough shape there. Bit of shadow to appear there quickly. Sort this nose out now. Oh well, nose, I'd say. Nostril holes. Alarm going off. Stop it a minute. Um, then we've got our overall shape of our skull uh, for our ghost rider head. Uh, we just need to ink it and colour it, which we'll do in the next video. I think. I'd like to do all these all in one um, things, but the file spaces just take up too much space. And I always get stalled uploads and things like that. I go and try to resume the uploads because uh, I've got silver light enabled and it, often it doesn't work so <laughs> that's why I have to do these three part videos 
uh, hopefully it won't always be like that because I'd like to do this one one full video where I just do the lot all in one but ah well anyway I'll see you in the next video where we'll ink and probably colour in a third video or something like that so I'll see you then Hi there, this is Wayne Tully and this is how to ink the Ghost Rider skull. We did a previous video of drawing this skull, so now we're going to ink it now. Uh, just go over all the main lines and details. Just try to improve as you go along as well. Oh, for these eyes, I want. I was going to leave them just uh, dark, but when it comes to the colouring stage, I want like a nice glow there. So, what I'll do, just do this eye. Nice socket. And I want like a, an area right in the middle that'll look like its eyes are glowing. So, what we do. Like an eyeball there uh, that will be glowing, so we do the same to the other eye. I'll probably colour these in Crayolas or something, you know, this this particular drawing. So make it roughly the same size. You just clean up uh, certain areas like that and you know, cause I want them to be totally black around the edges. Just, but it doesn't have to be completely filled in. You know the areas like that. So we got it roughly that. We could come back to that and make because that one looks slightly bigger than that one. So we'll come back to that. I just need to concentrate on the rest of the design. Try and improve certain areas. Cheekbones out now. like that and small details on the skull Just 
sticking that on my hand just to cover up a little error there that I did. <laughs> Actually sometimes it's good to thicken up uh, certain areas of your design as well. Maybe use different ink pens for that. Um, but I'll, I might go through that another time. Um, using different ink, ink pens on, you know, like one drawing or something. Because uh, the effects you can achieve are quite good. So. Yeah, I just want to decide I might draw some like in a glow just to match up with the eyes as well because uh, there's like hellfire all around the ghost rider's skull as well so that's what I want to achieve in the colouring stage so I always like try and plan out your colouring stage because sometimes your inking helps that you know it helps to set stuff up like that so there a couple of extra lines just for little bits of detail and we can start maybe doing drawing the fire that's coming off his head of the fire if he can. And then uh, you know that'll be behind fire there so I'll just draw like a slight outline just there because it's not important that bit I can just because the the fire is the more important bit that you want to achieve around the ghost rider's skull. same size um, so just a few more small details before we finish off cross hatch in there slightly just to give a little idea so there's our ghost rider skull um, inked quite quickly uh, but we've got all the main elements there you know um, so we can begin to just rub out all the pencil marks now and then colour it in in the next stage. So I'll see you then. Cheers now. Hi there, this is Wayne Tully and today we're going to colour this Ghost Rider skull. Now I've got about five uh, different colours here. Um, I don't think I'd need any more. Um, I might leave out the red actually here. 
Yeah, that's why I'll just keep the orange. Yeah, so I've got five uh, Crayola pencil crayons there. I'm going to start off with like a brown. Yeah, I'm just going to layer in, not heavy, but just uh, some uh, shaded areas, which are going to be shaded in like a brown colour. usually under the eyes it's important that you don't press too hard because I don't want brown to be the dominant colour on this just wanted to have uh, suggestions of the brown colour in certain areas which one I Start to blend the colours again, yeah, they'll be different, they're more, more like fire colours to offset all the fire around it, so... like a, a black because I want some of these maybe some darker areas just again just layer over the you know brown and just slightly around the edges Take the black and you can start to shade other areas here. The trick is not to overdo it because we don't want to too much uh, dark areas. We want this to be matching and keeping with the flaming colours. So we want it to match quite well. Add a bit of shade into there, but I think that's going to be like a yellow type of flame colour in there. Maybe a bit of the teeth as well. Just lightly shade, leave like a white gap around the edges. Carry on on the bottom. 
bottom teeth just quickly do it if you want to speed things up a bit just some slight shading on there just to blend it with that light brown just maybe some there just to smooth that over We'll just add a bit of grey area. That's all I want to add to that. I don't really want to, you know, complicate the matters uh, any further. Same thing. I've got an orange now. We're going to start to blast in this flame colour. Now, I usually start from the edges. Uh, sometimes, other times I might start in the middle and do like a flame. Uh, but you can do little extra flame bits in the middle just to. Try and go with the flow of the flame. And it's just about shading it all. Like that, so you create like white space in between, which will then be like a yellow colour when you get the yellow and just uh, colour over it. So around the edges of the, you know, all the inclines that you've done. It's best to do that and then shade towards the middle and you can fill in some of the areas within the middle if you want. Yeah, just to create a little bit of visual interest. So I'm not going to film all this doing this because it'll be a bit boring to watch. So what I'll do is I'll finish all the flames like I've done this way, all the way around in this orange colour. Um, I've chosen orange because it is an easy colour. I didn't want the red to dominate this uh, drawing. I just wanted the orange and the yellow just to go all the way through. So what I'll do is I'll just do all this flame, you know, all around the Ghost Rider skull, and we'll come back and we'll see it all, and then we'll add the yellow on top of that, and a few other bits and bobs. And so we've done the uh, flame colours with this orange now. Uh, what I need to do is these eyes. So what I'll do is oh, so I like do the same you know but maybe do like a a swirly bit of uh, eye there but don't colour it all in. Leave some white areas because they'll become yellow once I go over it with yellow. And do the same with the other eye there and then we'll come back to that what we need to do is we need to go over lightly some areas which we want to be glowing you know um, when we you know when we do add the yellow color so I'm going to go around the edges lightly add this orange remember to leave key white areas that is important. Another highlighted areas, you know, which the fl the f flames will be, you know, highlighting certain areas. So, you know, like at the sides there. Part. 
Let me do like a bit of light colouring in there, in the mouth area, because that can be like shining, like fire colours as well. And the nose holes if you wanted. And then that's, I think that's it for that now, so we take the yellow, let's start with the eyes. I'm going to go over any like white spaces on there, I want to quickly fill them in. Okay, and we'll just go over that like that, and then it's all, all blends together quite well. the other eye there I'll start to blend this together now most of the white areas are going to get a good colouring of this yellow and shall I leave a white gap right in the centre yeah, I think I will. And then I'm going to start to go over this flame. And I'll colour now and start to blend it all together. I'm going to colour this in with highlights all around the edges like that. But we'll get to that one once we do all this. You, know, you could leave some like small white areas uh, right in the center of these larger white areas there so you don't have to color it all in if you didn't want to as long as you get most of the you know orange covered and most of it blended so it looks looks like a smooth fire color I'd say the white, leaving the white area adds something to the flame as well. You know. Especially if you look at real flames. I mean, these look more like cartoony, you know, comic book style type flames, but you know, the same colour values apply to you know the things that you draw. So just just try, and, just try and have fun with it, really. So I'll come back to that flame area, what we'll do is we'll do the highlights on here on the skull face with this yellow and then I'll come back and I'll, I will have done all that flame all around and it should be a nice complete drawing so we want highlights to you know like shine all around this so it looks like the flames are glowing on the skull you know, then their eyes are glowing around there as well. See subtle hints of yellow there. all the raised areas would possibly have the highlights so they'd catch the light more than the darker areas so I'll just, just aim for something like that approach
and these teeth as well. Just give it a quick going over, you don't need to do a completely hard pressing of this red, um, yellow. It's not red, is it? It's yellow. <laughs> yeah. And just continue with this all the way through the drawing. Don't forget the bottom teeth either. What I'll do, I'll finish you off these flames off camera because this is going to take a bit too long and then we'll come back and just have a look at the final drawing. And here is the finished uh, result um, using Crayola coloured pencils on this Ghost Rider skull. Now you could if you wish uh, that I've done on other drawings uh, but I don't think I will do it. Uh, just take a white and just smooth all these you know grey areas over or you know mainly some of the other colours which I'll probably do it later day I won't do it today but you could do that you know if you wanted to but so yeah there's the finished result I hope you enjoyed this series I'm going to try and get on with some more um, different you know things maybe try and get away from drawing skulls because I, I think I draw too much of them and too much demons and stuff like that but you know what you like drawing is uh, what you're best at usually so anyway I'll see you on the next uh, drawing video cheers now